Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is on a Biazi Reva HE. And I'm going to show you some fault codes what we've seen on this boiler, and I'll let you know what they are. When you see the lights like this flashing, it means it's an airflow problem. So we'll have to go inside the boiler and investigate what the problem is. So we're removing the case, the front cover, the two screws at the top corners and then that panel then lifts off. Now what we're going to do, we're going to remove this combustion cover and get inside here. But to get inside that combustion cover, it's a bit tricky. The first thing we're going to do is this front panel needs to move forward and in order to do that we can undo the screws at the bottom left and right you got screws there and there so remove them screws first and then we'll get to the side part the washing machine's out at the moment so it might be get a bit noisy if it starts spinning if you pull the front out you might have a screw at the side holding it you can leave it that far that's okay that's okay on the side panels we now want to remove the side panels we'll just check if there's a screw at the top there's nothing there oh, there's one here nope there's nothing there so that should pull out or oh, just a screw at the back yeah you can now lift that off same on the other side remove that side panel as well that's it okay so the reason why we take off the side panel because when we take this combustion cover off and or especially fit, refitting it, these lugs here will be able to see how they go in. Right. Where if the side panel was on, you won't be able to see that properly. Okay. So that's why we're taking the side panels off. Okay. We're now going to remove the screws which hold this combustion cover on. So you've got the three at the top, sorry, three at the bottom, three at the top, and then that should then come off. Now to get this off, use your flat screwdriver and put it in the side here and wedge it out and this will push this out. You'll break the seal you see. That's it. That's it. That's it. And the same on the other side. Now I'm going to take the case off so you can pull that off now. I just want to make a quick comment about this recuperator. This particular boiler is an ERP version, because it's quite new, but it's still using the same technology from when the, the first band B condensing boilers came out. It's still the same design, but they may have tweaked it to make it ERP standard. So what they've done, it's a standard, standard efficiency burner as you can see yep. and what happens the flame goes up through the heat exchanger into the fan now on a normal standard efficiency boiler it goes out like I said and it should go out the flue but what they've done they've done an adapter adaptation and instead of going out the flue as I said what they've done they redirected in the fan, the fan then goes into the recuperator. The hot gases pass through that, and then what happens? The return water from the heating circuit go into the recuperator and get heated by the hot gases. The hot gases then pass out through the flue and then that way but what this does this preheats the return water then the return water then flows into the main heat exchanger this way and gets heated 
in a normal way. But then the burner doesn't have to provide too much energy to heat that water. And that's what they've done to make it a condensing boiler by adapting it. We're now going to turn the boiler on with the combustion case off and see if the burner stays on. So we fired it up. The burner's on. So we're just going to assess it and see what happens. Now, if you listen carefully, it sounds a bit groggy. It's as if to me that could be a block condense. So I'm going to check the condense line. What we need to do, we're going to release that. We put this carrier bag over the connections so they don't get damaged. So we're going to undo that and pull that off. We've got a little bowl here to catch some water if anything comes out. So I'd slowly do it, just slowly. Yeah, you can, I can see water dripping now, just slowly. Yeah, there's a bit of water there, so definitely it must have blocked that. Yeah, but so you can see water dripping now. So we could hear that noise, that's why we could hear that noise before, that was the water inside here, the fan trying to blow through the recuperator because of the water build up. That's what's making the flame go out and give that fault code. But it now stops. So the next thing is to check. We could probably try to look a bit closer, a bit so clear. We're going to check the other pipe coming down and check the trap as well. So we're going to go backwards. So the next step is to check this pipe coming out of the trap. See if there's any water backed up there. Right, we want to ideally take this pipe out the condensed trap. But you can see here, this is from a pressure gauge. You haven't got much room to get on it. And if you damage this, then you're going to have an almighty flood coming out of there. So be very, very careful. We've got another option what we're going to do. The washing machine's gone up, that's good. The nut at the back, um, we can undo that and then see what comes out of it. It's difficult to see. You can see my screwdriver there. That's what we're going to undo. What I'm going to do is another option. You just pull that pipe off there and see if any water comes out. I did pull it off and it's locked along gear I think which goes into that connection there so I'm going to pull it off it didn't make a noise previously so I'll put it back on what we're going to do now we're going to pour some water down that pipe and see if it backs up so you, you pull it down Did it fill up or is it going down? No, it filled up. It's filling up? Yeah. Well, that means it's blocked. Yeah. And that's our problem. That pipe's blocked as we, we suspected. And I'm going to do this connection, pull out the pipe, and see if we can rod it through and clear the blocking. Now I'm going to shove a screwdriver in there. If there's anything in there? Yeah. We'll clear it. Stinks. It stinks. Mm. But that's what's stopping it, you see. Rod it right through so it's clear. So there's nothing. It's gone right to the back of the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what was stopping it. We'll reconnect everything back. And then hopefully that'll be it. Okay. Basically, that's going to be it. We're going to put the combustion cover back on. Run the boiler. And that's going to be it. Okay, so what do you think about Adam before we go? Mm -hmm. What do you think about what we did there? Yeah, we did well. We did very well to find out. Um, it was the trap that was blocked the condensing pipe. 
So yeah. And cool. it was a good experience for me. When you're putting this cover back, if you put it back down, what you have to do is, you can go from the bottom actually, line up the bottom part first, yeah. and then the top, and then what you want to do, press, leave that side for a minute, just focus on one side, mm -hmm. see how that's gone in now? Yeah. What I want to do is get, let's just make sure that this side is on the top and also on the bottom. It is. You put the screw in there mm -hmm. and there, just loose. So focus on them two only. So you just screw that in a bit once you get it in. Maybe about three turns. Bottom there, that's right. So this top part, it needs to push in a bit more. That's it. And again, just a few turns on the top. On the other side of the bio now, if I just show you this side, because it's difficult to see, we're just going to replicate this side on the other side. Right. You need to check the top corner, make mm -hmm. sure it's round there, yeah. and the bottom as well. Yeah. And once you've got that, then you can slide it in to them grooves and then connect or screw right. up these corners. So push them in. Top and bottom corners that they're round and lined up, they should be. Because this corner is. Right, what you've got to be careful of, see, it's right now. Can you see? Difficult to see, but the level of that is correct. What it was, this top part, which I'm pushing down, mm -hmm. it was right it's right to up. But it's now correct and it should go on. We chip the underneath, you can see there that's now flat and it should shove back. See how that's now going on easy? Yeah. No problem. So you can line up that one with your screw. No pressure, you should just push in. that lined up? Yeah. You can see this side now. That's fully in. I've seen these fitted by other engineers and the sides have been on the outside. So looking around here, it's better to show you. I've seen where this part here is here. They've gone on the outside and just left it like that. Alright. Mm. I've seen it a few times. So you can get your other screws in now and then tighten everything up and that case is then fully sealed. So I hope you enjoyed the video what we did on this Biazi boiler. So if you've got any comments or questions I'd like to hear from you. Also if you want to join what Adam's doing you can get on our mentorship program. So click on the website, have a look round, you can see all what we do. So as I said Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.